This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show 688 Tuesdays. We talk about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studio in Pittsburgh, PA. This Hallows Eve, Eve, Eve? Something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know because it's the only one that dressed up because we forgot to tell everyone else is the delirious one, Mad Mike, up in Beacon, New York. Fuck all of you guys. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was just mean oh, and no. I even I, I sent out a reminder on the show last night. You like, did. hey, oh, it's yeah. Halloween episode. Hey. Dress up. Can we just turn all the lights red like that Kane episode? Mm-hmm. Or like sure. every raw some. dark match now? Yes. <laughs> Well, no, now every SmackDown dark match. No, no, no. Oh. He's still doing the Raw dark match with Seth on the loop. Yes. Oh, boy. Well, yeah. pro that'll probably end this week. I love because we have a giant 32-inch TV going out to the street, and now they just see your face across the street <laughs> at the taco stand. That's got to be so confusing. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, also with us, you heard them. But well, we have, well, we have Brent Noctis the with the good guys. Blood muffin. So and sexy. this over here is the flaming ball of sexual charisma, Zach Hunter. Mm -hmm. And over there, he is single and ready to mingle. He is Ron 05 Live. He is one third of the Fight Society tri tri Triple Crown Champions. Triforce of Champions? Triforce? I don't know. It's, triple it's crown. not real anymore. It says it right there on the bill. It's I real. can't. Oh, it's over there on that one. Triple anyway, crown. Ronnie Starks. And together, we are the good, good guys. guys. We're the best. Fantastic. We the best. That was the best intro this, ever. This is so so Ronnie has been assimilated into this group as well. Uh, <laughs> Ronnie's on all the good groups. Um, I don't want to say about all the good groups. He's in the Ronnie good group. is just oh. riding more coattails. Oh, I'm gonna oh. ride coattails down their championship, man. What are there you, you talking go. about? Ronnie's, you been go. A, Ronnie's been a good guy secretly since like the third good guy show. Of yeah. course, we. I mean, we've had uh, Noctis has been on a show back in the day. Uh, I think shortly after the mask came off. Uh, on Indie Mayhem Show. We did a Good Guys episode uh, a few weeks ago here for Indie Mayhem Show, and I said, hey, let's get the good guys on because there's some really special stuff coming up this week. We'll talk about War Games and the Big Blue Cage, which I'm excited about uh, later in the show, big. but it's, it's a Big Blue Cage. It's, it's like a big I'm going to kill Nick Griffin. <laughs> oh, I got some... When we get to that, I got something yeah. real funny for you guys. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. So, if he dies, he but dies. this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Thank you, everybody, <laughs> uh, for joining us here live. A lot of you on the Facebook live with us right now, Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook. You can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can find links to subscribe to us in podcast and video form. Look us up on your favorite platform. And if you follow the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed, you also get some extra stuff. The brand new Rise Strong Pod is up with. Uh, 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 Dolly is there. I'm sorry, Lola was there. Shoot, uh, Lola, <laughs> Lola is K there K um, K talking with uh, Jim Sterling about what's going on in Rise, and then uh, our buddy uh, Jim Lamada is talking with a uh, friend of the show, Troy Lords. We can't confirm whether oh, he had his. Hot. We have balls hot. You can't. Con <laughs> we can't confirm whether his pants were on during the podcast on the brand new Fight Society um, podcast over there. They uh, all of those are over at IndieWrestling.us, WrestlingMayhemShow.com if you want to check those out. Actually, a really good, a really good um, talk with Troy about uh, his wrist injury earlier this year and um, and and you know kind of that first week and 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 how what was the diagnosis and uh, dealing with that. Uh, also, you can uh, ask your voice platform or the voices in your heads to play the Wrestling Mayhem show uh, in podcast form on your Google Home, Amazon Echo, wherever else. Uh, you can get podcasts through your voice. That's, i got to work on that play. Uh, and also, you can email us at... Good times! Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or 412-206-WMS0. Tweet us at Mayhem Show. And as, as we mentioned before, follow us on our Facebook page and group for Wrestling Mayhem Show. A lot of great conversation happening in the Wrestling Mayhem Show group, which is 700 strong, by the way. 
Seven hundred strong. Seven hundred strong in the Wrestling Mayhem Show group. You're Almost welcome. As many people as episodes. Is that the Ronnie Bump? That's the Ronnie Bump. The Ronnie Bump. <laughs> Jeez, it's not true at all. We got you bookings. You got us more people in the group. You guys did give me bookings. <laughs> <laughs> As seen on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Mm -hmm. Also, like I said, we are here live every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern on Facebook Live. Many other platforms as well. But if you want to be part of the chat room, just like our good friends joining us, like uh, Tina Keys up in Seattle, Dave Potter of the Tiny Shutter Podcast, Kyle Turner, uh, and everybody else hopping in here. Not everybody else is talking, but that's okay. Jake Garrett, uh, good seeing him in there too. Uh, But uh, he had uh, uh, some stuff to say about that T-Mobile stuff we were throwing under the bus (laughs) earlier. Uh, (laughs) Some old old school t- sidekick uh, options there. <laughs> hey, Chachi had a sidekick. Um, anyways, uh, if you're catching us later, Chachi is a sidekick. <laughs> Oh, whoa. wow. Are you wearing an whoa. Apple hat? Wow. Yes, I'm wearing an Apple hat. We talked about this on the other show. You should have been here for it. Um, anyways, I'll tell you a story about how I got it la- earlier or later. Um, if you're catching us later on one of those other outlets, please tweet us at Mayhem Show. Hashtag WMS688 to continue the conversation. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. And I know there's going to be changing here in a week. Uh, but uh, Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show, including Bo Diggity, Woo! Ed Burke, Bobby F. J-Town, Tina Keys, and Team Hammer Fist. That oh, was our, sorry. Actually, was Team Hammer Fist. Yes. Designed this t-shirt. There you go. Shouts. Where can people find find t-shirts like that indie wrestling in the motif of Indiana Jones that you're wearing there? Uh, just Google search Team Hammerfist. Their stuff will come up. I guarantee you. <laughs> the Google machine will work for Team Hammerfist. And, Team uh, Hammerfist? Hammerfist. Hammerfist. Ham. M. A. Hamma. Pin H-A-M-M-A. or Pam? Team Hamma. Like hammer. Pin or Pam? Pam. Fist. What? Pam. Pam. Pan? Pam. 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 Two like M's. Spider. Ham. Spider. Like spider. Ham. Spider. Spider. Ham. Ham. Spider. Ham. What's happening right now? Pow? Are you saying pow? Pow, pow, pow. You've actually seen him eat a man's penis. <laughs> it was overseas. <laughs> like yes. Kobayashi. <laughs> Whatever that was. Um, also, our friends at the Pocky Club $5 level, they get some extra content over there, including uh, Mayhem After Dark with Ronnie Starks, uh, where he watches matches of fighting in an alleyway. For instance, uh, <laughs> I can't friends, see what we watch tonight. Our friends Bradley Brothers. I don't know where we're watching tonight. Doc Remedy, Dave Potter, uh, Kyle Turner, and Daniel Towery. And at the Pizza Club, ten dollar level, Ryan Clark at thirteen. And at the Manager, twenty dollar level, our friends at OccupyProWrestling.com. Thank you everybody that does support the show, and uh, monetarily it does help us pay the bills for doing this fine, fine podcast and keep the lights on a bit too. So let's get into it. Where is this? There was an assignment for this week. We said we reached out to the good guys. You did, in fact. Good, good guys. guys. Good guys. And uh, I said, guys, we need to have you on. We're going to talk about the big blue cage later on the show. But also, we are everybody's assignment was to watch at least an episode of NWA Power. I don't know how many R's are supposed to be there. It's like twelve R's. And 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 we were going to have a discussion about it. So that's where we're at. It's a discussion. Everybody watch the show. Um, we talked about it. We've talked about it briefly here and there, uh, but I kind of want to take a deep dive. The fourth episode just dropped tonight, so obviously I, we didn't get a chance to check that out. But between the first three episodes, I watched all three. Um, who wants to go first? What are your impressions of this new product, <laughs> this new slash old product that's coming out right now? We'll let Zach go first. Zach, <laughs> I have been saying for weeks that this is my new favorite wrestling show. Really, one hundred percent. I like, love it. You because I mean you seem like an old school fellow. I love old school. <laughs> I can't stand flippy stuff. Yeah. I mean, I can appreciate it. It's fun to watch, but I would rather not watch it. And you're kind of a ground to pound guy yourself. Yeah, I don't do flippy stuff. No. He's I've never flipped. Kicks. I'll take your flippy stuff all day, but I don't flip. Flipping's for marks. Flipping's for flippers. <laughs> Flipping's for marks. Marks and real athletes. So what, what is it about this? Is it the old school nature? Or I, is I think it... it is. It's the old school. Like, even the roster feels old school. Yeah. And I love everyone except for, like... Damian Sandow. I'm like, why are you here? Get out of here. Really? Uh, yeah, what, Aaron? I like Aaron Stevens. What, I don't like him. Yeah. Aaron, I loved him in the fan, Aaron Stevens. I, Aaron Stevens now. I'm not a you don't fan like of this him on there, thespian no. thing that's going on with him or anything the, like that? I like the little pirate vignette thing they did. That was funny. Okay. But other than that, I'm like, this, this, get out of here. Get out of here. Everybody else I love. Joe Cephas, favorite guy. Joe, Joe? Of course he is. <laughs> course wait, 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 wait. It's not even a joke. Which one's Joe Cephas? He's like the... 
curly haired bearded guy. They're all like curly haired bearded guys. He's it's, okay. He's con- he's a little taller than James Storm. Okay. He is very pale. Okay. Very fat. Okay. Curly hair. And it, the, wears one elbow like he like wears so, one but, white sleeve, sleeve like and then one but, black elbow pad. But not Trevor Murdoch. Not Trevor Murdoch. Not yes. Trevor Murdoch. No, no, no. Similar. Similar to Trevor Murdoch. Similar. Not as fat. Similar. Trevor Murdoch looks great. But he fucking feels straight out of 82. He does. Because he's that bad. No, he's so, great. Oh, my God. Kill, dude, kill yourself. <laughs> uh, Do it right now. I, I was talking about this earlier. You. Like, this is this is a good show. I enjoy it. I see the throwback quality. Mm. Unlike Zach, it is not my favorite show it's on my TV. Favorite. But I understand what they're doing. It's clearly for a niche audience. Because mm. if it wasn't, it's not, let's be honest. It's easier to watch. NWA power than any other show on TV right it's now. It's digestible. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. You, you're, they're not long matches. They're not mm-hmm. yeah, deep. They're not like it, it is. It they is. Get, if you like wrestling. Yeah. And exactly. most of us at least like wrestling. Yeah. They but, get like six solid matches in an hour. Yeah. How, I don't WWE know about can't six. get six well, matches no, in three first hours. Of all, well, two of them are squash matches and don't go more than five minutes. No, but it's Which good. is good. Which is what you need to do on TV. Mm-hmm. Because but, half the guys, you don't even know. Like, I didn't know who Joe Sevis was. I just don't care to know who Joe is. I fucking love him. Of course you do. Dude, I'm going <laughs> to trade it, Matthews it up by, for you. By no means is it a bad show. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. I completely understand why the, the most views it has is 300,000 in four weeks. Because that may be all the people that want to see it on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and which is, again, I said this earlier. We could all be watching it right now on different devices. Mm-hmm. It's the easiest thing to watch. And everyone on the planet can watch it. There's no one that can't watch it, but only three hundred people, three hundred thousand people are watching it. Right, right, right. When, well, that brother, that's just because like he hasn't, Corgan hasn't put like millions of dollars into it. Yeah, and that's not what he's trying to do. Yeah, they're, they're not to, going. They're not going on like the Today Show talking about this. Yeah, like, they're yeah. not going on Vice talking about. He this. wants that smaller yeah. audience. So mm-hmm. like, or maybe they they want to start with that niche, right? Yeah, they they grow. want that audience that wants this. Yeah. Yes, so, yeah. I, and they got I, I me. Hope, they got I me. I want to buy all the so, NWA merch right now. I, do, I really <laughs> do. I'm not even playing with you. And this is it's so funny because we've had uh, over the years d- different things happen with the NWA, the fall of it, the separation from TNA. Um, you know, like weird little tr- kind of resurgences when Cole Cabana was going for the belt for a bit with uh, Adam Pierce, mm-hmm. you know, things like that. We that they would it would get big enough and enough of a thing to be like, what's up with the NWA? Is this a thing? Is it? I mean, obviously, it's not the same thing as the '80s and '90s, you know, in size and scale. But you know, it, we're kind of back to that again, aren't we? We're getting there. Yes, <laughs> it was it was nothing like two years ago. Like now this is it's like holy is, shit. I mean, this is nothing like how we had in, in you know quote unquote NWA East uh, affiliate here. It was I would say quote unquote, but it was. But I mean, what did that mean in the in the mid two thousands? Right? I yeah. mean, like that was a whole different can of worms mm-hmm. than it is now, and under a lot of controversy, I think too. But not not NWA East, but well, okay, maybe that. But uh, but <laughs> just the NWA in general, right? Yeah. So I mean that. that I, you know, it, it, it's something else now, but it's also still kind of playing with the indies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, yeah. And I I think there's a lot of really good things that can come out of this because there's a lot of opportunities now. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of opportunities to make a lot of money in wrestling right now, and people that aren't getting signed to these companies now have spaces to filter into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I I I won't mention any promoters or any companies or anything like that, but we were talking recently to a promoter who says, "Well, we have a, our top tag teams leaving." And so we're looking for tag teams. Yeah. So now top spots are opening. And mm-hmm. so guys like me and Zach are like, well, let's just go out there and give everything we have. Because now we know, like, before it's like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll bust our asses. But mm-hmm. we're not going to miss work. We're not going to do this to go on a maybe. But, like, mm-hmm. now we're talking, like, we'll, we'll go on a maybe because we're pretty sure that maybe is going to turn into something good for us. Right, right. And that's because of NWA, AEW. Ring of Honor, even though it's diminishing right now, it's mm-hmm. it's going to flourish again. It's always been up. And I'm, I am really curious. Ring of Honor is going to be here. We're going to actually have Shane Taylor here in the studio on on Friday, uh, current Ring of Honor TV champion. If anything, that's the most. I think that's the most exciting thing happening is is what's going on with him. Mm-hmm. You know, is Bro, he's going to come hang out with his brother. <laughs> <laughs> is he watching? Please, that, that was watching. Right? <laughs> Please, Shane might be watching. No, right Bro, he so. because he hates. <laughs> I do it all the time, but he hates. Well, that was done in a promo at, at Fight Society a couple months ago, wasn't it? <laughs> I texted him yesterday and I said, "Brother, I got it. 
he need to get a denim vest and an army <laughs> hat to wear the ring. He's like, I fucking hate you so much. Listen, you wait until we work with Brohemoth in a match. I can't dude, wait for the burial. Dude, I'm working him Saturday. Oh, I can't oh, wait. No. I'm going to do wait. all his moves to him. <laughs> no way. I swear to God, I'll do all his moves to him. He'll take them, too. You going to start chanting bro and everything, too? Is that what's I'm going to chant bro. Look, don't, I will break down the whole Brohemoth match for you right now. <laughs> Is he watching? Please tell me he's watching. Mm. I don't care. Ian, are you Here's watching? a Brohemoth <laughs> match. Here's how it goes. All right. He comes out. He's like, let's go. Game over. <laughs> and then he comes in and it's like, this is calling a match with Brohemoth right here. He's like, all right, man. So maybe I'll, I'll just like close on, close on, hit you with the Bowser bomb. These are the exact movements he makes. <laughs> hit you with the Bowser bomb. And then you sell the corner. Boom. Boom. And then I'll come out, give you a spear. And then I'm like, game over. And then I'll put you up for finish and then give you a finish and it's over. I'm like, all right. Whatever. I already knew all that. We, we didn't need to talk. See you Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> I legit was calling. I was working him. It was me and who was it? me and Christian versus him and uh, Abel. And I kept calling his own shit. He's Christian like, Noir, DK Abel. Yes. For those that don't know. Yes, those guys. We have people from Seattle watching, so we just want to make sure. Who cares about them? <laughs> just look us Aww. up. Aww. Hello, this, people from Seattle. No. Brett and Austin. She has a comment. She has a comment up about it. We're, we're the best. Hey, I tell your promoters in Seattle you want to see us. There you go. Yes, bring us to Seattle. Hey, Sean Phoenix has worked out there. So. He has. Yeah. Might have to hitch a plane ride with Sean Phoenix. There Just you jump go. on the plane with him. Hey, hey, we'll Sean come Phoenix. to Seattle. Hey. Uh, but yeah, so I literally called all his spots to him. And he's like, fuck you. I'm like, why? He goes, because I actually was going to call all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I just know your shit. Uh, back to back to anyway. Back to NWA. Back to NWA. Anyway. Tina, Tina from Seattle does have a a a, 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 a couple comments. Camille, Nick, Al- Nick Aldis is a uh, valet. Drops major shade without speaking. I love it and uh, here here and here for it. Um, that that was a big thing. Like little things like that. Uh, other, other comments, real quick. Rob, cameraman Rob is saying, I love that it's self-contained. Tina says it makes Cornette actually tolerable to listen to. Um, it, it, it is, does kind of remind you why Cornet is Cornet. Mm-hmm. You know, between that and the match with the mummy uh, that I watched at Choke Slam on Friday night. By the way, somebody who was telling me about how crazy the mummy was, it was at Flight Society. Paul Atlas was telling me about how, like, they actually had, like, the dude, like, roll, like, roll around in the dirt to, to dirty up the cotton that they wrapped him in as the mummy. Oh, you mean like, the Yeti? Huh? The, the no, no. It was the mummy, and see, we're talking. Um, what would you say? I can't remember. The uh, south, southern, southern, whatever wrestling. Um, somebody's been kicking me out there on the internet. But they would like cut off something about like they would they would they would tape in his thumb and then make a fake cum- thumb so they could like rip it off and sand would fall out to sell the idea <laughs> of the mummy. Like this is how deep That's they were getting it. This was this genius. was a money gimmick. In in this, I almost said Southpaw wrestling, but it <laughs> practically was Southpaw South regional South wrestling, which is, which is also the greatest thing. I mean, that's the other thing: the commercials on this thing too. Like, there's I love the countdown where they're showing like podcasts and tweets, like talking about the commercials and the show and everything while you're leading into the the, the, the newest show. Mm-hmm. Like like they're they're showing this community around it, right? The commercials, I'm like, man, eh, whatever. Really? Yeah. I, I'm I'm glad Some, that like the first like uh, what's his name school. Oh yeah, um, what's funny? Austin Idol. Yeah. Austin and Idol. Then, you go to the website? No, it's straight nineties, dude. Is it? It's great. It was, what was no, it Ultimate what? Re- Ultimate Red- Wrestling School or something like is that? Is it a real school or is it? No, Universal I, I think it Wrestling, is. wrestling awesome. School? Oh, no, UniversalWrestlingCollege dot com. Let me let me pull up the website. Knock some on you. Like yeah. that one was funny, but then the rest of them, I'm like, what's this invisible hair crap? What is this? I don't. <laughs> I don't know if these are real, like bad things, or just like <laughs> intentionally. Oh, but they, there's bad. no way Guys, they're like uh, you're, by accident bad. You're on video with us. Look at this website. Look at the star twinkles in the background. Oh my god! Look at this fantastic. straight '90s amazingness That's right here. For sure. This is Man. like our local drive-in website. Uh, <laughs> it is. I haven't checked it out yet. It's uh, again well, universalwrestlingcollege.com. If I wasn't poorly trained, I'd go to school right now. <laughs> 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 hey, this is where this is where you become the master of the mic. This is where you you complete your college your your wrestling college education, Ronnie. I'm in. You're in. So somebody, somebody get me <laughs> a price. Finally get trained. There you go. Finally, <laughs> after 11 years in the business, you'll know what the hell you're doing. Ronnie's like 25 years deep. Let's not let's not sugarcoat. <laughs> you know, back to what Tina said. I'm glad she said that about um, Camille's her name. Is that what it is? Yeah, she's hot. So Smoky Mountain Wrestling. Thank you. No, there. It is. So. I said this earlier again, and I've got no problem bearing product. Uh, no one on that show can cut a promo except for Cabana and Camille. And she doesn't say anything. 
My yeah, best yeah. promo on every on every episode is her. All, all she's not saying anything. The, 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 I think it was the second episode when we were trying to. Adri- I think it was after she got taken out or something. Mm-hmm. Like whatever the next episode was, they mic'd her, and she's for her to no sell the, the 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 question and just stares at the the uh, commentator. I love it. Yeah, like, all this yeah. is a good promo. Um, he, Eli Drake is trying too hard to be the Rock. Yeah, I've, all this, all this is not a bad promo, but he tries. He tries to. He's just selling. He's selling the prestigiousness. Yes, of it. and yeah, I think yeah. that he yeah. goes even though too there was like twenty years of not prestigious. Yeah. Yes. I think he just goes too far at times. I think if he if he sounded more natural, they would come off better. But he See, sounds that's why like, I don't like Drake though. Drake, you know, Drake's, Drake's just, other than I've other than Aaron problem. Stevens, Drake's the only one I'm like. Eh. Does he still do the I've, dummy? Yeah, I've always liked Eli Drake. Though. Eli Drake. What is the gimmick? Uh, Mad Mike, what are you saying? You used to have a dummy button. Yeah, you used to have a dummy oh, button. No. Thing. Yeah, that was, that was uh, it was a, it was a dummy yeah button. Yeah, I enjoyed the dummy yeah. Button. Was that in TNA? Yeah, that's yeah. why. Yeah. I know that. I, yeah. By the way, if you also uh, if you click on the sponsor site in the Universal Wrestling College, it has one sponsor, Mike's Hard Lemonade. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it, does. <laughs> it does. Why not and you? The, and why not now? Is, why not you? Why not now? It's so great. This, was, this would have been way more fun if I'd have brought Mike's heart. Mike's heart gave you fucked up. Yeah, yeah, does. yeah, it does. It's scary. <laughs> I it's used scary. to when I was um, 21. I used to drink Mike's hearts all the time. Mm-hmm. I just pound them, just mm-hmm. pound them, and then I would just throw them up every time, <laughs> every time, and I would get like the black cherry, and it's like the worst burning feeling in your life. Uh, you get like lemonade, man. No, just like blah, it's else. just like oh, I fucking hurt so bad. Uh, how many like, I'll never do this again. Drink, no, no. Up. Every time I'm like, I know this is going to happen, but I just keep fucking doing it. <laughs> what was that, Mike? Well, I mean, they are delicious. They, they are, are delicious. They, they catch up on you. Do you remember the whole time on TNA where icing someone was a gimmick for about three and a half months? That's tremendous. That's what, that's what is it? That, okay. So icing oh, is icing spearing off ice, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. man. Was do you want to talk on TNA? The, 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 I can't remember who did that, but yeah, it was TNA. It was like when um oh. God, what was the group's name? Was it Main Event Fortune? Mafia? What? No, I, I think it was Fortune. Oh, yeah. Remember when they had uh, Hogan was on there? <laughs> oh, God, no. Hogan was on Remember there. Remember when and, uh, Abyss, was doing, Abyss was doing like the lawyer gimmick? And then he's like, he's like, yeah. got some ribs, and he's like, I'm ribbing somebody. And Hogan's <laughs> like, no, you don't get it. <laughs> uh, wow. And he had, like, he had like presidential buttons made, like campaign buttons. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I'm politicking. <laughs> like, you just, you don't get Joseph it. Park was the best it, like iteration of anything Abyss did. Yeah, I love yeah, Abyss. Yeah. I love that guy. No, yeah, hated, yeah, yeah. But that Joseph Park it. stuff was tremendous. No, yeah, I hated all of it. Of course you did. You hate good things. Yeah, we so can have different. Yeah, you opinions. just hate fun. A bit. Abyss was <laughs> never a bad thing about Mad Mike. You don't, no, you don't know me, no. bro. Don't talk. I mean, to me. I mean, Abyss. <laughs> <laughs> He's right though. You do Jeez. hate fun. I don't hate fun. No, you hate. Fun. I can. I can already tell you hate fun. No, you hate. Man, life. Mike, where did you say you live, bro? <laughs> <laughs> In the center of fun. Don't tell him because then I gotta <laughs> so come you kick your ass because Zach isn't gonna do it. He's no, a puss. Yeah, right there. <laughs> this is why we need to be on monthly. This is, this is already a people great couldn't thing. handle us every fucking week. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, some more without from Mad the, Mike. Though, for more, Mike. some more from the chat room again <laughs> on uh, uh, hashtag book get, book good guys uh, three two one battle and without cause um, always looking for talent out there. Uh, out get her us way. some information there. There you go. Tina, thank oh, you, thank oh, you. I don't know. Use the internet. Tina, uh, get us booked. Tina, <laughs> Tina, send me some information hey, via Facebook. Someone send tweet it to Ronnie. Listen, can you send, it, listen, can you send them us. a brochure, please? By the way, I believe I believe old friend of the show uh, Max is uh, one of the promoters at Three Two One Battle. I think hey, ah, so... Three Two One Battle. We're coming for the tag belts. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if you have tag belts. They're but... gonna. They're gonna have they're to gonna. Them for us. just yeah. for us. Uh, uh, Tina's saying Drake has been like that for a while. The catchphrase uh, was his his own thing, um, even back in the HWA days. Uh, and Rob says the website reminds me of Indie Message Board. No, don't bring that up. <laughs> you don't bring that garbage don't bring up here. That shit I up Rob. here. Shut up. I Jeez. miss the message board so much. Why? Well, because oh, it was shit on all of us constantly. Never shit on me, bro. <laughs> I got shit on because you're so bad that I didn't yeah. care. Yeah, yeah. what does that say? <laughs> what does calling, that say? I was calling a fucking cancer. I'm not shitting you. This is how much of a mark I am. I would check it daily to see if they were shitting on me. And every time they didn't, I'd be like, why are they shitting on me? I stopped reading it, and then Chachi would tell me if they were shitting on something we were doing. Like, why don't they and shit on me? I was just like, me? dude, don't fucking tell me. Why aren't they shit on me, bro? Am I, that, is that, am I that irrelevant? No. Yeah. No, it's, yes. it's not that. Now, it's they would just be shitting that, on us Oh, so absolutely. Hard they would hate us. They're like, the fucking good guys. And then Ronnie's involved. He's the fucking cancer of the business. <laughs> 
Jesus fucking Christ. This was fucking all background. the boys would be on there like, well, yeah. fucking hate these guys. For background, there was an IndieWrestling.net message board, which was the worst, like, mid-90s piece of trash looking website. It was awesome. And with, like, a linear <laughs> message board, and it was just, everyone was, was anonymous, and it was just fucking horrible. Slash great. And I'm upset they never, ever shit on me. Yes. I'm Even though I was scared. tagging with Harley T. Morris, who they shit on all, all the time. The time yeah. That's how irrelevant so you maybe, are. No, that. maybe that's how good I am. Uh, they're yeah, like, they're like, like, well, there's Harley uh, T. Morris. There's Harley Zach T. Morris, Carter, but, but, I mean, he's got really like, Well, it can't get worse, because... <laughs> there's Harley T. Morris. <laughs> it's okay. Zach Hunter can only go Hey, guys, here. if you want to see what Zach Hunter's been up to... Nothing. You can go to <laughs> IndieWrestling.us, IndieWrestling.network, where so many you can see the the dawning of the good guys in video form. Mm-hmm. Sorry, we don't have your initial fair show match That's from okay. uh, that wherever practice. the hell you were. They, they, they weren't great matches. No. They were fun. How do Definitely. you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice. <laughs> they were awesome, but not good. That, Thank exactly. you for taking it right, by the way. You're welcome. But <laughs> anyways, <laughs> uh, well, he's talking about the other one. That's why. Uh, but you, go, you can go check them out at IndiaWrestling.network, Black Diamond Wrestling. You can see the lead up to this Sunday's uh, big war game show uh, with Black Diamond. See the build of the good guys. And I'm going to kill you Nick can Griffin. Watch, you and can like, watch us versus uh, Icy Hot, us versus mm-hmm. uh, Club Extreme, mm-hmm. us versus the... Is, is Wes's show on there? Yeah. Wes's show is on there. Us War versus Horse. War Horse. That was a you can watch a us. One. You can watch like us versus us. We did. We wrestled <laughs> each other the one time. We, we have yeah. a there's there are several scramble matches the, involving every member of the good guys. The best gift ever was me hitting Matthews with that chair with that uh, trash can <laughs> lid because he went. <laughs> uh, we need somebody needs to make a gif of me taking the uh, the code breaker from Lucio and Long us Hardman. versus us versus Cato and Lucio Devere. Oh uh, yeah, mm-hmm. well that that is not on the network. That's over on a different network. Okay, that's uh, on a different uh, thing. A, but hey, it's around. Thing. It's we, it's around. It's it's here. A, we're, plug, we're not plugging that right now. Okay, not that. Uh, that you can't for watch the indie wrestling <laughs> not networking to see all that. You can check out all the matches they talked about. If you're not signed up, there's a free seven day trial that you can sign up for there and stay with it. And of course, Rise Wrestling with a Y Uprise, which also involves. One Ronnie Starks, too. Hey, I work there. You hey! Can, you can watch this sweet war games we're about to have. And yeah, totally that's win. right. Uh, that's right. This thing is good. If you're not able to be with us on uh, on Friday or Sunday uh, in, in West There's Virginia, a- you will, it will be on the network within the week. Mm-hmm. You can check that out and see what we did with it. Because... <laughs> I've never filmed the big blue cage before, so there you yeah, go. Wait. Uh, you uh, you can watch me kill want, Nick hey, Griffin and steal his wife. Is someone gonna get in the ring and film inside the cage? We're considering it. Let's, yes, it's being Let's set up a, gro- a GoPro. Bro. Just We're set up a GoPro on the corner. Producer Missy says no. Let's set it up in the top. I, I, the I, oh, I, Missy. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be set up GoPros on fine. each corner of the cage. Listen, listen. Yes. <laughs> what? Both. Both. Yeah. Nah, he's taller than all of us. He can't. That's, yeah, he'll steal our thunder with can, his height. Okay. <laughs> we, yeah, not not think not about, sword think because about Ronnie, man. No, I, I don't yeah. care about us. We don't gotta, steal my we, thunder. We sword. can't bury the cage anymore. Their manager's already taller than all of us. That's true. Their manager is six five. Yes. Oh, sorry. That. Ass, like, uh, but you can times. check out that any yeah, wrestling. Waffles right. with women. With women. Uh, of course, uh, Duke and Doe's hardcore memories mm-hmm. and uh, breakfast with champions, including one champion that showed up on AEW last week via picture. Oh yeah, that Jack Pollock guy. Dude, oh, the, oh yeah, the, I saw the, that. Supporting that gingers everywhere. I was there, like, oh, there's Jack Pollock. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey. Jack, Jack Paul. The, all the headlines were, were NXT champion appears on AEW, and I was like, screw your headline. The real news is Jack Pollock's on TV. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's be honest about this. Jay Paul's beard, baby. That's, that's no, right. Nobody was excited about, you know, LaRusso and uh, Andrew Palace on there, but they're like, oh, there's Jack Pollock. <laughs> they went, anyone knows Hooven on there, too? Yeah, Hooven yeah, was yeah. on there. Yeah. 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 I Bombo Taliano. Yeah, Officer too. Dan just sitting in the background eating. He's like, I don't know. What's He's just like, oh, oh, yeah, we're, they were doing been, extras. Mambo's they been on more televised TV in the last yeah, week yeah, than yeah, anybody yeah. under contract. He's been on like four different programs. Oh, oh, it's son, Mambo. it's Tom crazy. Gets, it's like he gets married and then goes and travels more and does more loops. How does that work? He got married? Yeah. yeah, yeah good good for you. You know, yeah. That means green card, baby. Oh, boy, ain't never leaving now. They can't even send him home. Nope. All right. Uh, anyways, we were talking about that. Uh, the green card? What? 
No, the blue, the blue cage. cage. Oh. Blue cage. Blue cage. So blue I'm going to try cage. to pull up blue some cage. pictures blue here. No, blue cage. There's a new set because, well, somebody broke the old set. Stupid Wayward Sons. Yeah. Super Wayward Sons. But what, what bad guys they are. Let me let explain. So a different this, tag team. I have, heard, I have heard legend of this big blue cage when this happened, like, what, two years ago or three years oh, it's ago? It's been a while since it's been a while. Used it. I don't yeah. know where the, he keeps this kind of the stuff. The last time I saw the blue cage used was in Benwood. That was the uh, VFW. That wasn't even the... F- that was the first time, I think. Okay. I, 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 no, it was only, right. It's only been used twice. I was there for both of them. What, what kind of matches were in it before? Cage uh, matches. Edric and Ty Cross had a match. Cage okay. matches. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your shit. <laughs> Edric and Ty had a match, and I don't remember. Connor was involved in. Was Connor with the other one? Yeah, Connor and somebody. So this is Connor and Edric, maybe. This is uh, by the way. Okay, so I mean, it, I don't it, remember. It, this is kind of ages us, but in the uh, in the eighties, the the WWE had a big blue bar cage, mm-hmm. and that's the one that I grew. That's to me, that's what a steel cage is, mm-hmm. right? You grew like up it. on it's not it. Chain link. It was I for like the black it was, one. It was originally used for the King Kong Bundy Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan match at mm-hmm. WrestleMania two mm-hmm. to support King Kong Bundy, and they used it through, jeez, uh, through the mid nineties at least, right? Because mm-hmm. I because I can um, still remember. Last, oh, here, here we I go. I believe the last big I blue was here. match was. Um, when they spray painted it black for St. Valentine's Day Massacre. True. And I think they probably were using the chain link before they, that. I think they also had a big blue cage match overseas. Yes. Because they already had one there. I don't want to say Edge was in it. Like at a rebel like at a rebellion in two thousand one or something. Okay. All right. Yeah, that does sound about right actually, yeah. So so I preferred it black. I thought it was cooler black. It did look cooler. But this is, and here, here's an image for you guys on the stream uh, and video later. Look oh, at it. Oh, yeah. It is, yeah. It is now, it is made of wood. It's pretty. It's still a Okay, cage. but it'll it is get, still a, big blue a replica, replica of the big blue cage. Let I me, told him he should have painted it purple. Let me tell you what you can't do with the big blue metal cage. You can't break a rung off and stab someone in the throat. That's something that you can do with this. I mean, I can. Now it's we can. It's frowned upon. Like we can do it. That sounds more like a He's Chris. saying you can now because it's because wood. It's wood. Yes. Yes. Break it off and then just vampire somebody. Yes. What are you saying, Mike? I mean, I could kill Nick Griffin with it. That's what we're saying. It sounds more like a Punjabi prison if you do that. It's a little Punjabi bit. Punjabi prison match. It is a little bit. Well, it's, 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 like, it's like the West Virginia prison match. So yeah. now that we're finally oh, talking boy. about this. Like that, that sounds... That Did you write down good. your promo? No. no Wait, are you going to read us your promo? No, no, no. I don't no, write down no. promo. Do you have facts no. about the blue cage? No, I have facts about Nick Griffin. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, so, no. Hey, that, so hold Nick on. Griffin, and again, hold Nick, on. Roll this back. It's it's going to be the three of you. Actually, you have a fourth member of the good guys. And Who? It's, it, what, it's, I, his name's AJ Matthews. Okay. Oh, okay. oh. And then <laughs> the other team is Icy Hot, which is Keith Hot, Tony Johnson, and then Superstar Jay Flash. Okay. And their manager, the Nick Griffin. They're so hard. <laughs> we're, did, we're so scared. <laughs> anyway, so Nick posts on Facebook a picture of his kid eating food, right? And puts balking up to punch Noctis in the face on Sunday. Nick's wife comments, nah, we'll be cheering him on. <laughs> did you see the one where he commented, I shared this? And he was like, oh, I can't wait to watch. Like frowny face, and I was like, I know, right? <laughs> it's gonna be so great. The, the the best part of this entire feud is not the the solid and above average match we've had with Icy Hot and Jay Flash. It's, yes. been, it's been the fact that the whole time I've been we've been utilizing Nick Griffin and his child, and his wife has been like, Yeah, let's do this. At one point in time, she was gonna let me and Zach come to his birthday party. And bury Nick at the party. Without telling anyone else there. Yeah, mm-hmm. just let us come and just... Wait, we're talking about at Nick's birthday party? No, at his no, kid's, kid's birthday, birthday, party. birthday party. Yeah, at his first birthday party. Oh, jeez. She we was going we to go. buy a second cake for us so we could smash it in Nick's face. We were going to go and fuck shit up and hope that the whole family was just like... <gasps> and that's how much Nick's wife loves me and Zach. We're the best. I mean. mm-hmm. So if anyone out there doesn't think the good guys are over, no, no, no. We're over and children hate us. Yeah. We speak yes. AIDS, apparently. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we speak AIDS. I just punch and kick, man. I don't we know. Speak- hey, brother, don't steal my <laughs> <laughs> We speak AIDS and kids spit on us at the merch table now. I don't know if we said that on the show. That was something that somebody yelled at you at your first appearance That's something together. like a nine-year-old yelled at me. Yeah, Like yeah. a child. Yeah. I was telling him, because he, he said retarded during the match. I was like, whoa, let me tell you why we don't use that word. And he goes, I'm sorry, I can't understand you. 
I speak. I don't speak AIDS. And I was like, what? One wow, the insults. First, it was first pretty you're awesome. you, first you're saying retarded, which is not okay. It's not cool. And then you're telling me I would speak AIDS. I then follow up with saying, "Are your parents as stupid as you are?" Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it was tremendous. That's true. West Virginia. That is a that is a, a West Virginia crowd, apparently. That was day three yeah, of being the early. good guys. <laughs> that was three days. I haven't even done we hadn't done like a black a diamond plex show. That's just fair shows. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the heat is real, brother. Or West Virginia just sucks. <laughs> I don't know. We got I heat think, in front of think, 12 people at a show. I think Cornette would love us. I think we need to get both Cornette would love NWA you. Power. Cornette would like me. No, he'd be like, that little ginger shit. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> he's, see, he's five foot seven. Fucking nothing. God damn. And meanwhile, Cornette's over there looking stupid. And like, hey, remember, Rock and Roll Express and then I start working. Money. And he'd be like, look at him. He actually knows what the fuck he's doing. Just punching and kicking. That's all you <laughs> fucking need to do. Now this goddamn flippy shit. <laughs> and then there's us. Indie Taker. Modified no, Indie Taker. we did do an Indie Taker one time. That's pretty cool. No, uh, we'll have to show you a video of that one day, Sorg. Okay. Of us doing a modified any taker to the floor on the loser door. <laughs> I could have done the flip, but I was like, nah, these fans don't deserve I tried it. getting him to do the flip. He wouldn't do it, so he did double axe handle. So he just double axe handled some kid's taint. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. This poor little lucha kid was like, what? axe handle to the, to the taint. And then I just tombstoned him on the cement floor. No padding. Just wouldn't floor. that be a double axe grundle? Shut up. Uh, <laughs> Again, I forgot he was here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is it Mad Mike? That's right, Mad Mike. Mad Mike. Yeah, yeah. delirious Mark. <laughs> you seem <laughs> Mad Mike. You seem wonderful. I'm sorry. We're just dickheads. Oh, it. I've literally been podcasting for ten years. You guys don't phase me at all. Hey, Perfect. Hey, uh, where'd you say you lived again? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time to drive someone to kick someone's ass for you. No, Jack. I'm trying to get us booked, man. <laughs> oh, oh no. no! You know what? He's, he probably doesn't. He probably booked. doesn't actually go to indie shows. Probably just watches the fed. And well, well from well, what Mike said earlier, really, like, he like what Sword said, he won't watch it. anything. He can't watch on TV. So, I, I watch. I watch a lot of wrestling though. Do you he go to indie watch. shows though? Listen, man, he watches. He, he I go to indie shows when I get a chance. Ring of Honor doesn't count, bro. There, there are not a lot of indie shows that come up around my way. I have yeah, it's to, actually but, probably false, and you probably just don't know. No, there's Northeast Wrestling, but I don't like them because they book Enzo. So, I, I mean, that's so, fair. That's that, fair. That's fair. Yeah, hard pass on his own. I'm like, not he, even going to argue. He with passed, you on what did you pass up? A chance to see John Moxley versus Pentagon? Yeah. Because, because Enzo was on the show? I'm, yep. Shoot. Yeah. yeah, I know. But uh, but the year before, I went to go see Kenny Omega versus Penta, and that was balls out ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I passed on going to. Oh, no. It was, it was Kenny Omega versus Phoenix and Penta versus Darby Allen. And that that shit was awesome. Listen, the Omega Phoenix match from AAA was awesome. I just mm-hmm. watched the other day. It was such a good match. Yeah, I watch that one. I haven't had a chance to watch that one yet. But if it's anything like their Northeast Wrestling one, it was fucking great. It was it was a good match. Jeez. Well, anyways, we'll we'll plug it again. But if you guys want to check out check out Black Diamond Universe on Facebook, and uh, that's where you can find information about the show this uh, Sunday, uh, Indie Wrestling Night US, and uh, I will be there. Uh, filming that for Indie Wrestling Network. Uh, so, guys, uh, it is time to give a shout out to our good friends that have been supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Our friends at Slice on Broadway, four locations here up the street in Beachview, Carnegie, PA, East End, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Do you want to try the pizza? You want There's it? pizza? Yeah. There's pizza yeah. here. That, that, that's what oh, those are back great. there. Can the I pizza. Have, you have to Wait, book? hold on. I have to ask permission. Alyssa, can I have a piece of pizza? There's, 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 there's I'm hungry, that. okay? I ate once today. It was chicken. This is, this is a good ad. This is a good ad. Give me a piece of the pizza. Yeah, you guys we got pizza coming your way. Bring but the they've been supporting thing. supporting the show, supporting she our doesn't friends need any. She doesn't here. Need any. We got a couple she doesn't here. Need any. Uh, so uh, thank you to those guys for supporting. And of course, as we said, many of you are all over the country just in the chat room tonight and not a let, you know, let alone all of you guys listening throughout the week. On multiple platforms, but if you uh, want to get a slice uh, somewhere where you are, take a picture of uh, Broadway Avenue in your town. Us. Hit up PJH underscore slice on the Twitter and say, "I want a Broadway on my, I want a, a slice on my Broadway." Excuse just me. Give me a it piece. It's just passing it. <laughs> it's happening. It's listen. happening right now. This is the this is the live taste. And now it's it's a couple. I mean, it's a little cold. I mean, by the time we get pizza. to you, listen. But. That's how you know good pizza because if it's cold, if it's, now's... if it's good when it's still cold, there you go. It's a live taste test. And please, I remind you, they're a sponsor. 
Ooh. <laughs> I wow, have... it's so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is very good. I, I enjoy it. That's a game. I think Mambo buried it on the show. Did he? Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, no, I. We have to have a show. Where we just read Mambo tweets about Olive Garden. Oh, it'd be great. <laughs> They're so good. Yeah, it'd be great. He hates Olive Garden. Does he bury Olive Garden? Oh, oh yeah. my god, oh, he hates it. Why does he hate Olive Garden? He hates it because it's not real. And not he's real actually Italian. Italian. Yeah, he's offended by it. He's and, a, he's wait, like, and I'm sure Luchador's fucking love. Does he about even hate that you get unlimited salad and breadsticks? No, not even. I don't think he gets that far. I mean, come on. You can't hate on unlimited salad and breadsticks. There you go, and that's what Tina Keys was calling out uh, uh, until until Slice on Broadway gets a uh, a location at T-Mobile Park up there. Speaking of T-Mobile, uh, not impressed. <laughs> so we'll get you out of Seattle. We'll get it going. Uh, thank you, everybody. Hey, we'll be back with the big question after a few words from Katie. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. What have we been doing for like the last 45 minutes? Um, Eating pizza. Oh, no, the can't, the, we weren't recording. We're actually well, just... we were streaming, but not recording. Shit. Oh. <laughs> and I was waiting for everybody to finish eating pizza. Oh, it was delicious. I was going to have another pizza. Slice right? on yes. Broadway. Well, well, Get yeah, a slice on your broad. We are here. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We are still here. Mad Mike is. Hey, it's Mad Mike's here. Hey. 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 Where, where'd that I, uh, go? Bring back Delirious. Some other guy was in your office in the first half. Really? Yeah, That's he was weird. a I just finished dinner. He had so many positive thoughts about wrestling. I find that difficult to believe. Yeah, me too. <laughs> also, uh, Ronnie Starks is here. Hello. Good uh, evening. Brent Noctis. Who's Woo. Brent? Brent wears button-up shirts. That's the difference Plaid between other regular shirts. Noctis. Mm-hmm. Like you went from, we talked about this on the show, you went from wearing a gas mask and, 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 and camo. <laughs> To being a professional, still wears camo. Yes, I still wear camo, but it's all, mm-hmm. but again, it's all because Flip Gordon did it on TV first, so now it's his gimmick. There you go. There you go. It's Zach Hunter. Zach Hunter is not going to change for you. No, nah. mm-hmm. no. Zach Hunter doesn't change for me. So there you go. There you go. Every, like, every one of my you literally just, just wear just to me. You literally just wear camo all the time. <laughs> I really do. Yeah, those pants look comfortable. They are, brother. That's why I, wore. <laughs> I wore them because I knew he was going to be like dressed up half decent. Mm-hmm. And I was like, fuck him. <laughs> I'm gonna be Tag sitting team. on a couch for a, an hour, two hours. I don't know. I'm gonna be comfortable. There this is go. my everyday. This is how I dress every day, though. So like, Tag this is team for me. unity. Right I only there. wear jeans if unity. I have to. There you go. It is a wrestling meme show. We are here. It is the big question. You guys are live in the chat room, so I want to hear what you guys have to say too. Of course, we've been talking about NWA power in the first half and people's thoughts on it. And I want to make sure the chat room doesn't die on me here. Um, what's that? Please don't die, chat room. No, no, no. We're going to plug that guy in so you guys don't go away. <laughs> okay, um, I have room up too, Sorg. Oh, yes. So the big question this week, of course, we're talking about NWA Power, which was kind of a uh, reboot of the old 80s, 90s, or I guess eh, mostly 80s uh, show, a, a, a redone with today's stars, but with a lot of that old school flair. Stars. stars. <laughs> Some stars. Of them. Wrestling stars. It's got Cole Cabana. And- Ken- Ken- Kennedy is looking... Okay, Ken Anderson. <laughs> I mean, a, you know, he still got it. He just stuff he's all oh, you can still go. I don't care what he looks like. Stars of wrestling. All right, back to the big question. Tim Storm. The big question is so famous. If you had, I should make it a two parter. Uh, if you had, <laughs> if you had Billy Corgan money, and you yeah. wanted to bring back a show from your from whatever era, and resurrect it on YouTube in the style of NWA Power, what would that show be? The question started Ooh. one way and then became another. I'm confused on how it's <laughs> supposed to answer. Wait, hold on. So bring back a show. With- Much like we've brought back the old NWA studio television show, or I guess it was the Georgia Championship Wrestling show, right? Um, what, what what show <clears throat> would you bring back? Which style, format, old show would you bring back for today? I have something amazing. I'm stealing everybody's thunder. You're gonna, yeah. You're gonna. Is it thunder? No. <laughs> No, I no. legit was going to say, gonna say thunder. 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 WCW Thunder? That's a weird pick, but okay. I, no. I want to bring back the Muppets. <laughs> I'm talking Fraggle Rock. I'm talking the Muppets. I'm talking about the whole shebang. I'm I about, love I'm Fraggle Rock. I'm talking about Rock. in wrestling. Well, you could turn Muppets into wrestling. No, that's, okay. that's a niche. Hey, yeah. Seamus and Beaker are cousins. Yeah. This is true. They could have a storyline. Like, literally. Uh, but wrestling yeah. related, Ronald. Oh, wrestling related? Yeah. yeah. Let's bring Thunder back. 
Spring Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is stealing everyone's thunder. God damn it. Uh, WCW Thunder is coming back, guys. So wow. I, I won't say Thunder, but I again I can't remember the name because I'm relatively young compared to you old fucks. Um, but <laughs> you're okay. older than I'm the youngest one here. But I'm it was besides your child. It was the, Actually, I think she's the one that I the said youngest. besides her child. Yes. And I gave her child. bubble wrap earlier. Uh, but it was I'm sure she's so entertaining. It was the uh, it was God the Sunday it. night heat, I guess, that would then transition into the pay per views. Mm-hmm. Bring that back, mm-hmm. okay? Because the pre the pre show is trash, okay? Just bring back wrestling, yeah. To promote your wrestling show, <laughs> what a novel concept in 2019. <laughs> but I mean, like, not again. Like, whatever the the whatever WWE does is working. There, yeah, yeah. I mean, people are paying them a lot of money, except for right? some of those t-shirts. It's not me, bro. Let's not talk about. Let's not talk about Jordan <laughs> t-shirt. Go, go ACH. Yeah, you know, and I promise we don't want to talk, gonna about, talk that. about that. But, but, but that that was money. The current kickoff show is not money. It is yeah. people. It's a panel talking. If I'm gonna watch a panel talking, I'm gonna go watch like Table for Three. But haven't they like like doubled down on that by doing an FS1 show? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, no, but that <laughs> show is actually Pete. kind of interesting. Okay, that show is actually kind of interesting. I'll give that show credit. They have started because... like three different shows that just talks about WWE yeah. every week. The uh, FS1 show is is fairly interesting because they treat it like Sports Center. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I did see that, and they wonder yeah. why more people want to watch other shows. Listen, however, no, Renee Young calling out the person who tweeted at her, going, hey, "I got that Fox money now, baby. She's over yeah. with me. Renee Young is <laughs> over with me." Okay, all right. I, I feel bad for Renee because she got done dirty by the whole Fox deal. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, she probably has well, no, easier she shows to do. What's she that? She got to off a commentary, so. But she's back to where she started because she started in sports casting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just mean, would, I wish they'd give her her network show back. Yeah, we're talking yeah. back. Like, well, I, I would look at that as a platform to grow into bigger things because you can argue, hey, giving you a show where you're main hosting on FS1 is bigger than network show, right? So I, 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 I mean, guess. I mean, it's in in the line up of everything. Plus, SmackDown is exactly getting numbers anyway. Yeah, I heard it's not great. Well, <laughs> oh, this week. Oh, the, the wait, we know it's the FS1 show. Everyone such a big deal about SmackDown. But it, it was on FS1. It was on FS1. You dumbass idiot, Mark motherfucker. That's why it's replaying after uh, uh, football. How, yeah, right? I mean, like it's Who on FS1. Dumbass idiot, <laughs> yeah, Mark I, I don't know. Oh, well, it's ironic oh, yeah. because I didn't bury it, uh, but man. I'll. Say, Where'd it you was say on you FS1. The World Series. The World Series was on. Like. In reality, like everyone knows, I can eventually go back and watch this yeah. FS1 Who's show. Who still yeah. watches but baseball? Most of America. Uh, oh, those, uh, that's a lot the of two hate. porn stars in the third row? <laughs> yeah. It was brought up on Awesome Cast. I'll show you a picture after the, the show. I can't the, show There's two women that yeah, were trying to distract... Um, they were trying Cole. to make baseball interesting. They're, well, they're trying to distract Gary Cole, so they flashed him like mid pitch. They said it was nice. for breast cancer. Uh, was there yeah. actual boobies? It was, yeah, there were boobies. Boobs out. Yeah, there, were, there were live boobs on Fox. That was it. Was pretty hilarious. Yeah. So that's why they got speaking more of when Alexa Bliss comes back to SmackDown, I'll start watching again. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Otherwise, I, I literally haven't watched that. Also, Alexa Bliss, she has a compelling character. She can have good matches. Okay. Zach's just over there being a pig. Last time SmackDown was in Pittsburgh, I was like, holy shit, I forgot. My girlfriend's like, why are you so upset? I was like, I could have been stalking Alexa Bliss. <laughs> what? <laughs> what I've met Alexa Bliss, and she's a very nice lady. And Zach's so not, lady. so let's, what's, what do we... Yeah. Well, Zach I mean, we could have, very, we could nice have very nice babies. Is, <laughs> uh, is she single? Because I'm ready to mingle. <laughs> She has a pig. I've already, By the way, I've Alexa already Bliss. She needs another Alexa pig. Alexa Bliss. <laughs> hashtag date Ronnie. Mm-hmm. No, no, I Alexa? already claimed her. I claimed she'll bring her. you. She'll bring you the coffee. Date Ronnie Starks. And uh, mm-hmm. Zach will bring you the cream. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready for your cream? Ronnie now? can take her out to eat into the movies, and then I'll isn't date forward. Ronnie Starks a Ronnie Dangerfield movie? Could be. I'll take her to the bedroom. It could be. It Finish could be. Myself. Anyway, Zach Hunter, what show would you resurrect on the internet? Uh, not Re- the Muppets. Ren and Stimpy. I don't know. Ren- no, no, no. <laughs> oh, wrestling. wrestling. You wrestling. idiots. Other than NWA is everything you, you hoped it could be. Uh, all right. He said Thunder. And he said no, I was going to say, Ronnie still like one side. Uh, I have mine if you need to think. Go ahead. All right. Mad Mike. Okay. I have I have two responses. One is it's gonna fake. Take mine. No, I'm, I guarantee I'm not going to take your other response. Uh, first, Lucha Underground. 
that was it. Oh. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> well, it was. Keep thinking then. Lucha Underground, just because Lucha Underground. But my mm-hmm. other, it was my ever, other ever hyped, ever would be hyped. if I really had <laughs> Billy Corgan money and could do anything <laughs> I wanted, I would make WWE Crush Hour real. The, yeah. the fucking motocross game. It always yeah. goes back to no. It's more like the twisted yeah, metal game. Yeah. It's twisted metal. It was terrible. I would, make, I would, I would do WWE cross with battle bots. Oh, okay, I can get behind all right, that. All right, that's what that. I would do. Like you match up a WWE personality with a team of builders. They build a themed robot, and it's robot fight. I really like that you're crossing WWE with STEM. <laughs> yes. I can really it's get behind that. You can use it. Okay, you can tell the science. You can tell the, the official scientist here. I loved Did BattleBots. It. BattleBots was a great show. Mm-hmm. Yes. BattleBots is still on. Is it, was, it really? And it was at yeah. points hosted by Down, download the Discovery TV app. You can watch the current season of BattleBots. Oh, I can't because I'm going to be busy on Disney Plus in 15 days. Um, <laughs> you watch it now before Disney Plus drops. That is true. That is true. I did prepay for three years. Uh, Jesus so, there was a whole, it was there a was good a deal. It was a good deal, like a man. Burger. There was a bot that looks like a cheeseburger. It's basically ROH. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Except the bot was more talented. Whoa, whoa, and Tom. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. I'm hey. joking. No, I like cheeseburger. I'm joking. Cheeseburger's going to show the shit out of you. No, I, I, <laughs> I like him. He's good. Yeah. Ooh, we should I already won the in the chat room. Right. Well, okay, okay, we got go ahead and hit the chat room, Mac. Tina says the junior approves of my idea of crossing WWE and BattleBots. That's good because you already have a BattleBot named Tombstone. Guess who would be? <laughs> Just take a wild That's guess. An easy one. That's an easy one. I'm gonna give you a hint. Okay. Fat Bray Wyatt. Uh, I it's love that guy who's undefeated. We've had two votes in the chat room: one from Tina, one from Nick Griffin, uh, for a Wrestling Society X. <laughs> Yes. I actually loved yeah. wrestling. <laughs> I watched amazing. it all in one night. <laughs> well, yeah, That's, because yeah. they rec- they debuted it, it all was, in one night. It was it was like six episodes, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. I was so like, this was, is kind of cool. When I was like twelve. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, you I might have that. been like thirteen. Yeah, update that. You nice nice studio show. I mean, I think it's a pre. We I mean, we talked about it lots of times that it feels like it was a precursor to what Lucha Underground became. Can we get celebrity yeah. death match in real life? Cool. <laughs> yes. No, last oh. time we did that, Butterbean knocked out Bart Gun. Like a C- <laughs> like a CG celebrity death match, right? No, I'm talking about real death. You're just celebrities. Like, yeah. Let's, no, get, right. let's get I mean, Tyson killed in the his ring. career. <laughs> Does that count? Yeah, sure. Let's get Tyson back in the ring with some uh, some hard acting wrestlers. There you go. Yeah. Not there me, because I, I act really hard. I don't want to fight Tyson. We're like, hey, who's pissed <laughs> us off lately? Let's throw you in with Enzo. Hardcore. Let's, uh, <laughs> what's that? Hardcore Holly. Hardcore Holly. I'll fight into him. Heck, man. Hardcore Holly. We saw we 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 filmed him in April, and he was like actually really fun. Like, Holly is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I got. I, I was um when I was still with IWC, then the house hardcore came through. Dude was so funny. Yeah. Like oh, such a good dude. Hey, you, you expect him just to be this big hard ass, but it was uh you mm. know it was it was interesting, especially listening to, like Zach and Cardenas. Whole thing sucked. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see uh, anybody else out there saturday night's main events is potter there you go mm-hmm. tina wants to oh see. and you can also bring back um fuck what was that kid's show that they did uh, uh no. saturday, saturday morning slam saturday morning slam i yeah. love that show it was so much fun and very digestible and let's make drake <laughs> maverick the gm of that because oh. i <laughs> Because yes. he's the size of a child. He's so relatable to kids. What if they did tiny. like a Smurfs and Drake Maverick was Papa Smurf? <laughs> Would Baron Corbin be Gargamel? I yes. Jobber you... Smurf. Oh. Smurf. <laughs> no, you do. I kind of miss the Saturday morning cartoon thing. Because like, you remember you'd have like Alf. Okay, maybe not all of us here. But you'd have like Alf like host the entire morning, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, today if you had like Becky Lynch host the entire morning of, you know, NBC Saturday morning, you know, kind of thing. You know, like, cool. and have those kind of interactions. That'd like, cool. I think that would be a lot of fun. And have her just cut promos the whole time. Yeah, yeah, that. but like on like, like the bad guys of the TV shows. So, the, the, yeah, something like that. Like I was like like Foo for Darkwing Duck. You know, something like that. Cool. Darkwing was the it. shit. Yeah, oh, I love. Dark yeah, Wing whatever. Duck. Depends on what channel you were on. Mm-hmm. Spidey and his amazing friends. Uh, so, uh, Jake wants to bring back WCCW. Yes. Hopefully, without the depressing endings. Oh, WCCW. Ooh. Oof. Yes. 
Um, yes. On that note, there's a lot of good stuff there. Um, hey, guys, there's a lot of wrestling in town, I hear. Mm-hmm. I understand. Mm-hmm. Maybe all of it was in the last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, But you can go check out what's going on at PittsburghWrestling.com. It's our, your one-stop source for pro wrestling in the Pittsburgh area. Already 2020 dates are hitting for several promotions. Uh, so you can check out. And it's everything that is within one hour driving distance uh, uh, in the state of Pennsylvania from Pittsburgh. So uh, go check it out. And even, you know, we're even featuring local stories like our friend Shirley Doe uh, getting into Esquire magazine. We got that feature over there. You can check out and everything else hitting the news uh, from our area. And like you said, you can get a calendar of events of what's going on, including the upcoming Ring of Honor, the upcoming, hey, KSWA, that's where you'll be, Zach. Yeah. Yay. We'll be there. As well as Fight Society, Rise Wrestling, so much more. Uh, let's see. What, what we, 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 we checked it out. We, we, I like putting a, a tweet out at the beginning of the month about what's coming up. We have 10 wrestling events within an hour of Pittsburgh, including Ring of Honor and all the indies, uh, in the month of November. We're on a couple of those. You mm-hmm. guys are on a few of those. <laughs> so at least a couple of those. Not the Ring of Honor one. Not, not, not this one. Definitely Angel Gate, right? I got four. That's five for me then. Right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Let's say you're an Angel Gate member now. Yeah. You know, congratulations on your new identifier yeah. as a women's wrestler. Yeah, wrestling. Yay. Did you just identify a man's gender? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but go check out that PittsburghWrestling.com and keep up on that. Big news, Mike. I think you saw this. Friend of the show, Krista Joseph, former writer for WWE. Lucha Underground executive producer, co-executive producer, I think officially was that co-executive right? Executive producer, that's yes. right. And and I think like the longest guest on this show that that was didn't become an official member. Um, uh, Krista Joseph is now um tied up with a major league wrestling. This yes. is a promotion I keep hearing about that I have not seen officially much of. I know in the past they've had Bruce Pritchard as a part of it. I believe in creative. And uh, they've had Tony Schiavone on commentary before he got signed to AEW. They still do have Tony. They do. They still yeah, have Tony I officially? think Tony still does stuff for them. Tony's still there. MJF is still there. Okay, uh, but there, uh, I was just listening. To, um, uh, what is the gentleman's name? Mm-hmm. I cannot remember the gentleman's name. Who he is the one who runs. Oh, um, Court Bauer. Mm-hmm. Court Bauer. He was just on uh, Jericho's podcast talking about it, about how they're starting to expand and get out there in more markets, and how right now they're really big in Canada, Mexico, and they're trying to get in that bubble in in the U.S. Like they're, they're, they are a traveling they company, are. right? They are. They're like they I, they have they'll do loops of seven seven shows, and they hit like all seven markets, like really? Orlando here there. So it's it's a good little product. I haven't got again not a chance to watch it, but I mean they've got like. They've got uh, Dave Boy Smith Jr., um, Brian Pimwin Jr., MJF is down there. They've got a lot of talented cats. L.A. Over there. Park is going to be taking on Fatu in that's, this, this one coming up. Which, that's a cat that's exploding right way, now, Fatu. By the way, uh, LA, LA, LA Park? Park was fucking great at Wrestle Oh, my God. Him and Gangrel was so much fun. Which L.A. Park is this? Is this, the this, is the, this is the original. This is the original oh, La Parka, and this is, and, and this is one for me. Like, I, I grew you know. Watching, watching like the late '90s, like NWO, WCW, yeah. and everything, and it's like, it, and you know, we were being introduced to the cruiserweights and the luchadors, and and, and then uh, here and, comes La Parka, and here comes La Parka with his chair and this hulking human being, yes, easily two forty wrestling with the luchadors as a and cruiserweight, oh, it's tremendous. and has the chair, and he's doing that, and we're calling him Chair Skeletor at the time, oh, you know, God. like it was just, <laughs> it was, it was uh, to see him. In the ring, and then doing the dance and having the chair, you know, it was just like kind of a nice callback. Right, right after uh, Sean Spears post about being the chairman, someone put posts to me there's all there's only one chairman, Laparka. <laughs> I That's loved right. it. It is loved it. It is so there. I Laparka mean, is forever the chairman. I, I know. I think. I think Mike, you had you had said um, good news for De Joseph, R.I.P. Lucha Underground. Uh, that wasn't me, but I echoed the sentiment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, but this is, again, we talk about opportunity. Like, there's a lot of these things there maybe are not going to be the thing that's, like, an AEW-level thing or, or or whatever. Like, this is, like, this is all competition for your Ring of Honor and Impact. By the way, Impact debuts on a- a- Access tonight. Yeah. And I did discover, if you're like, hey, I don't have Access, um, I know up to last week's episode, when I checked, like, Friday, you can get episodes of Impact on the Impact Plus app mm-hmm. without subscription. Like they are free on there, so you can catch up with what's going on. 
And I keep hearing really good things about this taping that they just did. I'm I'm really excited to be able to finally watch Impact because I mean there's a lot of good things going on up there. Like whenever I first saw they were bringing like Tough Guy Inc. and then the fr- the fraternity were there still right, right, tagging right, right. together before Channing went off on the White Bronco gimmick. Like that's just that there's so much talent up there and it's mm-hmm. really exciting to see. Um, I, I've had the opportunity to to help with a couple of their Twitch feeds when they've been in Dayton with Rockstar. Mm-hmm. And it just, I'm amazed at, you know, the, the, uh, the vibe coming from that crew. And there were such fun shows. Um, Scott, the Moore and, and, uh, 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 Josh Matthews were great to work with. I know Mike, uh, I'll try to get you on block soon. Um, so, I mean, you know, it, it, it I was really surprised at that, you know, given, all TNA Impact Wrestling has been through, mm-hmm. right? And that was always like a really good impression with that. So, um, looking forward to that. Looking forward to see what they do with Access. Yet another wrestling show to watch, but <laughs> you know, but it's like again, it's a great time for this, and a lot, a lot of interesting people are getting the stage. And I mean, we're seeing like a lot of people got a stage there and moving on, you know, to your AEWs and everything. Yep. Like they are not the number two for sure, but man, they are still a good stage, and it's just one of all of these the, that again gives a lot of opportunities, right? So um, good to see with that. Any other news for the week you guys want to touch on before we move out Sorg. of here? I guess there's one I'm missing, Mike. Sorg. Yes. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. NXT. Mm-hmm. Do you know who's going to be on, Sorg? No, I don't. Poppy! Oh, no. Is she going to be live on the show? She's going to be live on NXT. Jeez. I need her to interact. I need her to nurse Velveteen Dream back to health. I don't know who Poppy is. Uh, oh, during during Gold, we need to introduce You know what? That's Poppy. our goal for this week. Yes. We're going to introduce you to Poppy and get some yes. reactions. Yes, yes, yes. Mike, you hit us up with a small playlist. Just, just youtube.com slash poppy and see where it goes yep just just do it that's always the best way just dive it dive into the rabbit hole it is i did that i would oh garza doesn't know what a poppy is garza (laughs) garza i respect what garza's in there garza is in there is it because we're talking lucha underground i you know we probably summoned him we, we probably that? summoned a wild Garza. By the way, so so Tuesday Impact is still also free on Twitch every week too. So literally, you have no excuse. This is going to you. We're like Brent Noctis. Fuck, I don't know what the fuck to call you these <laughs> days. Uh, what you're saying it was like you know the most accessible thing. It's on Twitch. It's two clicks. It doesn't matter. That it's on Access, mm-hmm. but also Access gives it a little bit of credibility. I'm sure they're going to do some Access exclusive stuff probably, on there too, yeah. right? But but I mean they're not pigeonholing them in, into that. Yeah. Kind of thing. That's it. It's uh, it, this is this is probably the best time to be alive as a professional wrestler and a fan. I'm sorry. I keep I keep accidentally getting Especially over the Ronnie, Ronnie, and I think Ronnie I caught him sleeping earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie looks like that. What like that? That just disenchanted guy on How- Howard Stern. This He's doesn't checking care. the Tinder. That's I'm right. Checking, I'm checking the Facebook. Is because this, this hashtag, he's single and ready to mingle. That's right. Hashtag date Ronnie is rolling in on his phone right now. <laughs> Apparently Garza's on Swiping because today. Right or left, Sork, I don't know. What? That's right. Today's the fifth anniversary of Lucha Underground's first episode. What? Oh my God, they're not on TV oh. anymore. Oh my God. We hardly, we hardly oh knew you. Oh no. God. No, it was it was overrated, wasn't that? Oh, oh, again, oh, again the, the, oh, but Sorg, Sorg, ban these guys from the. Show. Go <laughs> time, <laughs> time no. out. First of all, ban- Zach, Sorg. Zach is the most hateful person out there. Oh, I, I love Lucha Underground. Lie. Zach, I actually, no, anything comment. other than Pause. punching, kicking, and a power bomb, Zach doesn't like. Pause. That's what Pause. Lucha Underground was. Pause. I actually really liked Lucha Underground, okay. but it was still overrated. You're it was right. not that. It was not like the most amazing thing that's ever happened because it was. Nope. Uh, it was pretty good. And it, I enjoyed was, it. it was one. But of. it's gone. Let's let it go. It's like ECW. You know, he can look Thunder, back on it just like Ring some people have been soon. looking back on the NWA for the last 20 years. <laughs> yeah. Look, everyone just, what about the NWA? What about the NWA? They're back. And you love it. Shut the hell up, Zach. But they never died. They were just yeah. not on TV. Oh, never died. Oh, you're talking about never died. They, died. they were the, the yeah. soul of the NWA when died TNA 30 years ago. Yeah, but supporting. it didn't physically die. The belt was still there. When, when TNA stops supporting your title, you're dead. Yeah. When TNA is like, yeah, we don't want that. Want that. 
you when know Tim what? is opting out, you're pretty much done. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's, that's called we killed the territory, kid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, he's getting more pizza. Look at that. Listen. <laughs> That's because I just like don't care about Mike's opinion. So <laughs> I think uh, Mike's wonderful. Mike, get us booked somewhere. Um, I don't control booking where I work, unfortunately. I don't, no, I don't no. know where you work. I just want you to find some place for us to work. Uh, <laughs> well, well, we're here. Uh, well, we got to hit up one of those. We'll see what we can do. I mean, you know, he's very inc- he's very inclined with promotions in the Northeast. So. Oh, man. I love the Northeast. Yes. It's beautiful this time of year. <laughs> it is actually it's gorgeous. It I, I love Verm- I love Vermont and Rhode Island. I, I, I vacation Rhode Island. What do you think about time. Connecticut? Connecticut is um, a little overpriced, so I don't want to go move up there. But I'll travel up there for uh, studio shows. There you go. There That's you go. Fair. Hey, you know your I'll studio. I'll come in do a job. It's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what else pin, is new? Pin me, pay me, right? There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Chat room two. Hit me up. Josephus. Dope as fuck. What? <laughs> Josephus on NWA Power. <laughs> Fucking love Josephus. What about you? What homicide about you? and uh, Kingston as a tag team. That's dope. What? Homicide. And oh, Kingston. Homicide. Kingston. Yeah. yeah. I'm a big yeah. Homicide guy. Mm. <laughs> what, Again, one? you might want to work on the phrasing of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan of murdering people. <laughs> It's still, it's still valid. He didn't way. stutter. Don't still worry. <laughs> okay. You just see the good, that out there, you so. see the good guys chat. <laughs> tune, in, tune in to the war games and you'll see. Oh, man. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh, Rent Noctis. What did you learn from wrestling this week? What that if you don't say Josephus, I'm going to be upset. I, I'll say Josephus because Josephus is trash. But also, but also that there's so much out there. If you're not appreciating wrestling, then you're not really a fan. If you're not putting over Josephus, you're not a fan. <laughs> uh, Nick Griffin said Dude, Ronnie apparently is going to kill me, is what he learned. Yeah. And, so, and someone's taking his wife home, but we're not yeah. going to say who. I'm what gonna... did we just say about homicide? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill you and Ronnie take your wife. Is Ronnie single and ready to mingle? If Nick dies, then, you know, widow. Boom. Yeah. It's done. Yeah. No more I'll play, bar- the I'll kid's play baby there? daddy. It wouldn't be the first time. Ronnie's <laughs> playing the rebound. <laughs> And Grayson's a Ronnie. cute kid. Ronnie, what'd you Rebound learn? Ronnie Starks. <laughs> Ronnie, <laughs> Ronnie, what'd you learn from wrestling and relationships this week? Uh, I learned not to tell a woman to get in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, you did. You did. Ronnie. Remind me to clip that later. Because hey, I will Ronnie. get punched in the fucking mouth. You did. And then somebody yelled, take his ATM <laughs> card. Ronnie. And they literally took my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> they gave it back when I we got to the right back. Oh, but, uh, Ronnie. Yeah. How do you feel about Josephus? Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> no, I, he's he's all right. I'm just getting I'm getting accustomed to the new NWA show, but I watched this week's episode. Good. So yeah. Wait, the one like on the way here? Yeah. Oh, cool. I watched like it in the car. What, no, what the fuck? it was on at six o'clock. Oh, I watched oh, it at six, oh, I thought yeah. it was on eight. That's cool. Six oh five, brother. That's yeah. cool. Six oh five, brother. Yeah, I watched it. <laughs> Listen, Zach and Alyssa can both attest this. When we do long car rides, when they're falling asleep, I'm watching wrestling on the phone driving home that's from like yeah. no. Oh. Oh. no, 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 that's, that's not, not true. Because I'm a good co-pilot, and I don't fall asleep on you. But, yeah, we, but I, we watch wrestling together. I, I, I we watch wrestling. We watch like a whole night. I, I've, I've, yeah, I've worked with some production people that are like, "Hey, we're gonna watch the pay per view on the way home." I'm like, "Wait, aren't you driving?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm like, all right, that's how we roll now." You, uh, my phone maybe is perfect in the car. There you go. You ask anybody that I drive with, I'm a shitty co-pilot because I fall asleep in the car. Yeah, yeah. I wish we had a camera for Alyssa because she's never stayed awake, but she's let me sleep coming home from Jersey before. So, Mad Mike, don't you, let him fall asleep. Mad Mike, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I learned that we're finally going to get some goddamn poppy on NXT. There you go. The correct answer is the good guys are over and you like us too. And then yeah. the second correct answer is Joe Sebas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I'm to stick with what I said. What did you say you That's lived fair. again? <laughs> <laughs> From the chat room, uh, we learned, let's see, Alex says. Uh, Alex Miller says he learned that Sami Zayn has a t-shirt out that if you buy goes to his charity. You know, I heard this other That's guy's cool. got a t-shirt. This uh, what's that? This um, Sammy. <laughs> too too much what? smile on you and all what, that t-shirt. Happening? Oh boy, no! So so that's the uh, that's the Sammy Zayn versus El Generico shirt. Right? Yeah, I want that shirt. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. I kind of want and that. And then there's this oh, other t-shirt. Uh, I learned that Ali is the greatest person on the planet because he's donating his entire paycheck from a pay-per-view. You mispronounced it. It's Josephus. 
Shut up, Zach. <laughs> Dude, the look on Mike's face. He's like, shut the fuck up. We're never getting invited back. He's no, like, we'll come uh, back. Just he's making him. a happy no, statement. No, no. And it's a, it's a, he's uh, donating his whole paycheck from, uh, from Halloween Panic to charities. Yes. Are they really calling it Halloween Panic? No, no, no that's what Ronnie. No, that's what I'm calling it. I'll why? See. Why Halloween Panic? What's because it, it it's actually Thick, on no, Halloween. It's I know on. that, but why? I don't understand the panic. Um, <laughs> the you can't be they're Havoc. a progressive nation. The, like, the, the, <laughs> uh, is that what just, we're calling it? What, I mean, what, what women you, can drive now. What's wrong with that? Well, that's nice of them. Yeah. <laughs> they're not producing horrible t-shirts over there. Yeah, fuck that coach. Oh, oh. Well, they're producing other horrible things. But anyway, so no, Tina, no. Says, <laughs> Tina says, what I learned this week is I'm loving that Prince returned to his proper past. Mm-hmm. As the in, the prince returned to his proper past on NXT last week. One I former thought, Prince Devitt. I thought Prince. Devitt. One I thought she was talking Finn like Ballard. Prince Prince. No, not like, Prince. Not turned like, himself no. into a symbol Prince. No, 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 no. Because no, he's no, dead. No, no. Yeah, well, yeah. The well, he's, no, known as he's prince dead. Can. Jim Prince lives on. I would or love if only known as Prince Devitt. I would yes. love if he went back to being Prince Devitt now that he's ill. I think that'd be tremendous. That'd be great. I think he should feud with Prince Iakea. He's still going. Bring back that WCW Thunder, brother. Oh, See, Might as well bring Adam Montoya back. We'll be good to go. Full circle. Oh, don't tell Gory. Uh, <laughs> also, Ponder <laughs> learned that I ne- um, I learned never be married in pro wrestling. Poor handsome Rusev. <laughs> oh. Yeah, in general. Yeah. In general. Yeah, Nick, you shouldn't be married in wrestling. Oh, so Dave Ponder. He's barely in wrestling. Dave, Dave Ponder. <laughs> he's barely married. Dave Ponder said that the people in Fremantis in Oakland love Ronnie. Nick, don't forget that beer on. Hey, Sorry, you put a belt on me in Oakland. People are like, yeah. Yeah. He yeah. yeah. gets handed. There was a Kenny Omega in the in Fremantis Brothers mm-hmm. and a busy Fremantis. But we're taking over a giant table and another one mm-hmm. over there between Mayhemers and friends. Mm-hmm. And uh, and and you got the IWGP championship. I think it was heavy. It was heavy. Yeah, it was like twenty pounds. And I said, I said, I yelled, Ronnie, you got another bell. Congratulations! And everybody applauded. The whole bar. The applauded. whole place applauded. <laughs> My face got really red. <laughs> and I was like, wow, this just happened. Yeah, that yeah. happened. Uh, Put you on the spot in uh, for Manny in Oakland. Yeah, yeah, but did you get anyone's number? Like, he doesn't pretend to be a champion in front of, like, all kinds of people all the time. All right, look. <laughs> Every <laughs> Tuesday night at 9 p.m. on Facebook Live. That's where I pretend to be a champion. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Garza, the wrestling Um, I learned uh, graphic design matters. Sammy Callahan can produce a large amount of spit. And what a poppy is. Yes. <laughs> there you go. And uh, Nick said he'll get the beer. I don't know what that was from. Don't worry about it. Josephus. Yeah, those are his last words. That's, that's <laughs> those are his last words. Beer. I'll get the beer. I'll drink nice your beer. Knowing you. Murder Guys! you and steal your wife. This weekend, what's happening? One last time. Uh, well, I guess the, the, well, the one KSWA. That, the one that talks has his there. mouth full. I'm going to be there. No, not KSWA. I might, I might I be there. I guess you can plug KSWA. I might That's be there. Fine. I'll be there. Half of the good guys will be at KSWA. It's one of three wrestling of shows. Me. It's what, listen, there are three wrestling shows happening in Pittsburgh That's that true. night, and you're going to go see Zach Hunter. Yeah, Zach Hunter is what's, at what's the other two shows? Two of the three. It doesn't matter because Zach Hunter's at that one. <laughs> I'm at two of the three. So what two, was the other one? Wait, you're at two at three? What's the other one? There, there's No, there are three of them. Three and wrestling you're shows at, on you're Saturday. At, you're at one of them. I'm at two of them. On you're Saturday. Two of them. Saturday. Saturday. Sorry. Saturday. Sorry. Just Saturday. I was still thinking about Josephus. Is... No, fuck <laughs> 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 he did. He was Bruiser Brody in that thing on Vice. KSWA. Did you guys watch that thing? No. Yes. Yeah, anyway, yeah, I'm going to be at KSWA tagging with... Uh, not, Luci- me. not you. Not me. I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> Lucio DeVere to take on uh, Bro Hemeth and uh, Lucio. It's whatever. Hey, no. make sure he gets a dive. It's in. Willie Wright for all I care. <laughs> <laughs> why are you team with Lucio? <laughs> I don't know. Make sure he gets a dive who, in, brother. Who booked that shit? Well, we're taking on Bro Hemeth and uh, <laughs> uh, Mitch Napier, and uh, I'm gonna probably take a like a Bowser bomb and maybe like a <laughs> no. boom and like oh, a I want somebody to let's go game over. Whatever. I want somebody to walk up to Bro Hemeth and ask him how he pronounces his name. It's Bro Hemeth. Bro, 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 bro Hemeth. I love you, bro. I know he's watching. He's watching. He's motherfucking. If he's not watching, he's, he's like, a bitch. He's sitting there like. To his, to his girlfriend and his 27 kids like oh, I fucking hate that so much <laughs> well time out that's because the other 27 the other 27 kids are at his grandmother's house and then the 30 after that are at his grandfather's house what is happening no 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 he no. has he's like got custody man he he's a- got custody brother yeah, but yeah but he can't keep all of them in the same house at the same time there's no room no, that's true they I don't, don't know what, bunk beds. Anyways, he, he has like six kids. Ikea doesn't have enough bunk beds for the amount of kids <laughs> the brain has. Brent Noctis what is happening Sunday 
Sunday, we have the War Games match against the Insurgents, J Flash, Keith Hot, Ice. Nope, not Icy Hot. What's nope. his name? Iceman. Tony, Tony Johnson, Johnson yes. and Nick Less Griffith. Charisma. No, no, no. And I'm Nick Griffith is going to come in there, get beat up, and then his wife is going home with somebody. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Alyssa. One of the good guys. Would you say we're running a train after the show? I wouldn't say that because my daughter's in the room. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> she doesn't know. I'm a classy broad. I would never do something like I'm that. I'm the most unclassy person on the planet, so it's fine. It'll be fine. But it's there's going to be, be fine. And there will be other great matches on that show. That is a 5 o'clock bell time in Benwood, West Virginia? 6 o'clock bell time. 6 o'clock. Oh, that's five. five. No, it's five. 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 It's five. Yeah, five. five. Ronnie, you've worked there for 12 years. You know this. Hey, Rick, I'll get there when I get there. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it is a 5 o'clock bell time. Who else was in that War Games match? You didn't say. You just said who. They're... Oh, I mean, they're, yeah, it's four. against Brent Noctis, Zach Hunter, Rondo 5 Live himself, and AJ Matthews. The good guys. And that's pro- if it's not main eventing, Rick Diamond's crazy, and it he is needs to get eventing. his life Better together. Be with that cage. It's, it's main Come eventing. On. You know what? When we when we introduce when we do the introductions on uh, Sunday, we need to say that dollar store is that Hunter, AJ Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. He's done. He's I'm good. Done. No, I'm back. Daddy's home. <laughs> Look at the good guys wrestling on the Facebook, the Instagram, and the Instagram, Instagram, the Facebook. Uh, you can find us both on Twitter. Zach doesn't tweet her. Real I, I just Twitter. I just like and share. Zach likes to share things that Sorg posts for us. He just punched <laughs> the kicks, man. I don't. I, I punch, kick, like, and share. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you got, man. I'm gonna get a t-shirt. Actually, that's punch, wrestling kick, like, in 2019 share. in a nutshell. Yeah, yeah it punch, is. Kick, like, share. It's Ronnie Stark's favorite thing. That about needs to be a t-shirt. It is. Punch, yeah. kick, light, swear. Zach F and Hunter. There's anytime, nothing about. There's nothing about that kid. I like. Kid that. I like. Any, <laughs> anytime you another worker like, is like, "Hey, brother, what do you do?" I'm like, "I just." And I lost it when you said that because they there was a time when they always let us call anything for real. Yeah, because I got so make it like that T-shirt meme, like kicking and punching and liking and sharing. Yeah, Yeah. it needs to be done. It's gonna happen. That's that's, when we get that good guys uh, pro wrestling tees. It's gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. So everyone needs to follow us so we can get pro wrestling tees because you have to have followers. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm almost at the two two thousand. Yeah, but you. We need it's got to be it's got to be combined. Yeah. Yeah, Now that like, but now that's a tag team trio, we have to have even more people. Like yeah, you like started over. Yeah. That's why we don't. That's why you're not like in the description stuff because it's easier if there's just two of us. Yeah. Fuck me, right? Yeah. Well, or or there. because he has the followers, maybe it's me and Ronnie, and you're not the description. Fuck you, Ronnie <laughs> Stark. Yeah. Ronnie Stark. Starks wrestling. Uh, yeah, you can follow me on the Twitter at Starks Wrestling. You can follow me on the Instagram at the Ronnie Starks. You can you know like me or uh, and look for him on Tinder. And uh, yeah, apparently <laughs> I, I'm literally going to say finally he said something cool. No, my my name on Tinder is going to be Ronnie Starks. I'm not even right, fucking there you, joking. There you go. There you go. Go with what you know. Yeah, <laughs> good because we're going to do those promos and we're going to post a picture. I of can't your wait. It's happening. Mad Mike four eight three on Twitter and YouTube.com slash Poppy because it's happening. That's right. It's Sorgatron. all happening. Sorgatron on the Twitter and one last thing. As uh, as uh, we're heading now, Potter says, hashtag stay unclassy, date Ronnie. <laughs> and Kayla says, officially add me to the good guys. I have more followers than all I of I tell you what, Kayla, 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 if she Kayla actually goes out her. on a date with Ronnie, we'll make her a good guy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, don't <laughs> torture her. Guys, don't, don't do torture that the poor girl. She's going she, she, to text me in about two seconds. Ronnie Starks is a classy her. broad. You take her out on a good date. <laughs> Just saying. Good, good date. Get good dick. <laughs> guys that's I'm enough thank done. you and apologies to producer missy and everybody else that's been watching this show in person in the studio <laughs> uh we'll see you guys next time mayhem out this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatron media 